Okay, so the bridge is full of stitches, and this is a really uh, pretty easy tune. In fact, it's it's an easy enough tune that you could make this the first tune you learn on the BC accordion. Um, we're not going to need many different notes, so just make sure you're familiar with the ones we are going to need. So the lowest note is the D. So if you're on a 21 key box, then it's your third button on the inside C row on the pull. That's D. Or if you've got 23 buttons, it'll be the uh, fourth button. I've got 21 here, so that's the third. Next note is the next button up, E on the push. And the button above that is G on the push. And then going further up, so change to finger one there to get up the remaining buttons. We've got A on the pull, same button as the G. B on the pull, D on the pull. And on that same button, E on the push. Okay, so we've got D on the pull, E on the push, G on the push, same button, A on the pull, B on the pull, D on the pull. Same button, E on the push. Okay, so the A part goes like this. Okay, so you're going to start with finger two, your middle finger, on the G. Okay, so that's G, A, B, G. Pause this as you need, you know, get one bar going on its own and then try and put both those two bars together. So it's... Okay, so that's the first phrase. And then the second starts the same. So it's just the same bar. And then... A, G, E. Okay, so the second phrase of two bars is... Okay, so try and put those two phrases together. You've got four bars, half the A part. Okay, and I recommend like just try and practice that round until you can get it maybe three times round in a row without any mistakes uh, before you start learning more of the tune. And then the second half of the A part starts off just the same. So that same first bar. And then this time it's... Okay, so that one's A, G... Sorry, A, G, B, D. Okay, so we've got... Okay, and then the fourth and final phrase of two bars. So that's G, A, G, E. And then you're going to change position because we've kind of run out of fingers and we've got one lower note coming up. So after you've done... We're going to play another E, but play this one with finger two. Down to finger one on the D. Okay, so that's... E, D, D at the end. Okay, so try the whole second half. So we've got the third phrase. So make sure you can do that a couple of times round. Go back and check that you remember the first half uh, and then try running them together. So the whole A part goes like this. Three, four. that when you get to the end of one A part, you'll have finger one on the D, and then you want to start again, finger two on the G, so you're going to reach up one place to get back in the position that you started in, so you're playing both parts with the same fingering. 
Okay, so make sure you can play that A part around a few times. Uh, again, get it without any mistakes before you carry on to the B part. Um, and then you're going to start the B part uh, another position higher up. So we're going to go finger three on the D. So after you've finished, we're reaching up not one place, but two places. And this is the first bar here. So it's D, E, D, B. And then A, G, A, B. Okay, so those two together. Okay, and then the next phrase starts with the same bar. And then here we're going to have to make a move down again. So it's A, G, E. Okay, so A with finger one, but G with finger two. So once you've stopped pulling but you're not pushing yet, change finger. So you're changing finger while the bellows are changing direction. Okay, and then reach up again. So one place, finger three back up to the D that you started on. We'll just run those first uh, two phrases around. So four bars, so it's... Starts the same as uh, the beginning of the B part again. So those two bars are exactly the same as the first phrase. And then you've got finger one on the uh, G. So again, we're going to move down there. So this bar is G, A, G, E. But on that second G, get finger two on the G, down to E. run that smoothly with that uh, movement and then we've got the same move to make as we did at the end of the A part changing to finger two so after that E it's another E with finger two down to D with finger one okay so a bit more movement there in the uh, last two bars um, there are other ways you could play this you could play it using um, the fourth finger more because I used it for one note in the A part and um, you know you could play it moving less using the fourth finger more but generally you know playing um, Irish style music on the BC box you're going to be generally moving around more to use the stronger fingers some people would tell you you know don't use the fourth finger at all um, you don't necessarily have to go that far you know you can use it occasionally when it works out well but generally if you found you were using the fourth finger a lot for something, you'd probably move up instead and use the stronger fingers. Because as we introduce ornamentation, there are some ornaments that you can only really do with the stronger fingers. So you want to generally be moving around more to favour those fingers and use the fourth finger less. Okay, so the whole B part after four, three, four. You'll be back into an A part, so again you'll reach up one place, finger two on the G. Okay, so those might actually be the parts of the tune that need the most practice when you're putting it together. It's not just playing individual bars, it's getting from an end of one part back to the beginning of the other, because that's often where you're doing these reaches, and we've got like the reach of one place uh, with finger two to get back into an A part, and we've also got the reach of two places with finger three to get all the way up to that high D. So you've got to make sure you're hitting those just right every time. So take your time, play it slowly. I mean, I've just run you through it quite quickly. Um, if you're a beginner, you'll probably want to be pausing the video quite a lot, um, going over individual parts to make sure you're getting them accurately. Um, and don't really try and play it up to speed right at first. Just make sure you're getting the notes in the right order, consistently getting the right ones. Um, and then only when you're getting the right notes every time, do you want to start to you know, bring it up to speed and hear the rhythm in it. So when you get it up to that point, here's a full playthrough, two A's, two B's to try and play along with. So after four, three, four.
into the beginning because once you can play the whole thing around, two A's, two B's, you also want to get used to going from the end of the B back to the A. These tunes would normally be played at least a couple of times round, maybe three times round uh, each tune in a session, and then they're built up into you know sets of more than one tune. Um, but that's a really good uh, first tune to learn if you're just uh, starting learning the BC box. Um, there's more you can do with it. You can add left hand, you can add ornamentation on the right hand. Uh, might do some more videos on that one later uh, or on other tunes. Let me know in the comments if there's uh, anything particular you'd like in future videos. Thanks very much.